What's up guys, Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids and just want to show you some add-ons, some uh, additions here that I've uh, stuck into my bailout bag, survival bag and uh, not super expensive but I think good options for you know just some more things to have um, this is a, as you can see, uh, ANSI 2 safety vest this has reflective material on it so it's not just bright uh, neon you know or like a bright safety orange it actually has reflective material here so if you're in a situation where you're uh, you know you say in a car accident or your car dies out or you're working along a road do walk along a road doing something great to have something that's gonna make you stand out secondly is my uh, outdoor products 20 liter dry bag and this is good to obviously keep things dry and also if um, you have to transport water from one place to another this thing can actually carry a good amount of water obviously 20 liters is filled it to the brim but you can carry easily you know five ten liters of water rel relatively easily in this guy down here on the bottom this is something I saw on um, knowledge knowledge weighs nothing I think is the uh, Facebook site and I'll put a link down below but they talked about uh, just a simple pencil sharpener if you can find a stick that's small enough and then crank it in there then open it up inside you'll have shavings that'll be great for starting a fire paper thin and uh, basically an easy option for getting some kindling so there's an option there when it comes to some some simple tips and I'll probably make a video just to let folks know about that as well I got some of these guys as well these are um, light sticks one white light stick for eight hours and then one green light stick for 12 hours I think it was four bucks for the two of these so you know if you really have to signal and you don't just want to have a fire to do that Here's an easy way to get some of his attention. Got some uh, hand warmers. Again, these were super inexpensive. It was three or four bucks for a whole bunch of them, and I've spread them out in different places. But um, these do take a while to warm up. So if you, you know, bust them open and you're saying, Matt, wow, it's been five minutes and I'm still these still aren't hot, it does take a little time to actually warm up. So um, another good option for you there. Got some bright paracord, and this is from, uh, let's see if I can find it right here. Paracord Planet, got this offline. And, uh, inexpensive I think less than five bucks and something really bright so that'll make it stand out this is also good if you do have to set up a camp and you're using this to uh, to uh, rig your tarp that you'll actually see it when you're coming through a bit easier than say black paracord so what else these are uh, tack links from ITW and I'll have a review of these guys too it seems like I'll be re reviewing everything but these are a um, a polymer carabiner essentially so you can hold gear, you can rig different things, nice option, not a lot of extra weight. This is not a climbing carabiner at all, so do, do not use this for climbing, uh, but you can use it to rig different amounts of gear. Then over here we've got a tiny sewing kit, and this can be used for multiple things. You know, you get a tear in a jacket, or you can actually use it for medical purposes if you had to do that. Uh, so this is like, again, two bucks, relatively inexpensive. Got some larger needles, and um, this is for, you know, if you had to do some, some major repairs on something or, again, even some sort of medical medical repair. I took the two largest out and put that in another survival kit, which you'll see a video on. And uh, But, you know, large, strong needles. Here I've got a uh, Coleman cook set and very, very lightweight. This little handle, basically, you crank down on that, uh, that wing nut, and that closes the whole thing up. And then when you swing this open, that becomes like a little pot. Got a little dish here, got a little pot in here, a little lid, and uh, I've already got um, a metal water bottle, but this is great actually for, um, you know, if you need to, uh, you will need to cook something or whatever it is, and because it's lightweight, no big deal, I can throw this in, no problems whatsoever. And then the last thing, this may, this may seem kind of odd, but um, these are knee pads, and it comes knee pads and elbow pads, and the elbow pads I'll probably get rid of, but, you know, if you're working on something around camp, and you're, you know, you're digging, or you're, you're on your knees for an extended amount of time doing some sort of survival, um, you know, action, or whatever it is, say, working on your car, working in camp, like I said, great to have knee protection, so these are lightweight, not going to take up a lot of space, and easy to, uh, easy to put on, take off, whatever it is. I wouldn't wear these around camp all the time or wear these around all the time when I was in a survival situation, but another good option. Actually, um, I've done some reviews on different types of knee protection and even the kinds that you like buy at Lowe's, you know, that guys who are working in the flooring industry uh, wear. Those are great because obviously those guys are on their knees all day working on the working on the floor. So just another, another add-on to, um, to my survival bag. So a bunch of different things here and... Uh, Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Thanks for, uh, as always, for coming to Everyday Tactical Vids. So like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Later, guys.